It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, NBA fans. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson, and seated beside me, Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Our featured matchup tonight out in New York, where the Knicks will be going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for the Bucks, only one win in their last six games. They know they can play much better, looking to be more competitive tonight. And as we reach the midway point, Kenny, still a lot of games left on the schedule. How do players cope with the wear and tear their bodies go through? Well, a lot of times when you're mentally or physically tired, you know, you could sit there and all of a sudden you misquote things, you missay things here on the analyst desk. On a basketball court, you, that's turnovers. That's missing assignments, missing rebounds. Same thing. Like, I know this is our, what, 82nd game this year? You're starting to feel a little bit? That's how those guys feel. I didn't know the midpoint was the 82nd game. But anyway, injuries start to take a toll. No, but we've done 87 second two games. Doesn't mean yeah, the team. We've done a lot we've of games oh, in, in, our, in our role here in the right. I miss we two games a night. Remember on the set. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I was saying the injuries they start to take a toll. Not just the big ones, the little ones. The type of injuries I hate are the freak injuries. One time, Ernie, I was walking with my shoes off, stubbed my that's, toe. That's called barefoot. That's a freak injury. Stubbed my toe. I was out for six weeks. So you got to get rest, eat well. Well, if you kick a brick wall, knees, that's not a and man up. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should. Uh, here's Kevin Harlan. Barefoot. Oh, say does that suspangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the All eyes are on the Eastern Conference in this game as the New York Knicks play this one at home. A quick trip here for the Bucs, just one game away before heading back to Milwaukee. Now looking at their performance last year, they're about where you'd expect them to be, guys. They'd like to take that next step in a positive direction here, Steve, with a win. And I think for Milwaukee, they've fallen all too quickly down to that spot at the bottom of the standings. If any team needed a bright start, it was them. You're so right. I mean, some of the league's better teams can overcome a bumpy start and make a big push, but this team, not one of them. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Carter Williams is the point with Middleton at the two. Harkless is out there with Jabari Parker, and it's Monroe in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. Milwaukee on D. Last game matchup with the Suns. A, a tough loss there. And that kind of loss sticks with you for a while because they probably felt they were the better team on that night. They just could not make the plays down the stretch. Guys, you know, there are times when you would rather lose by double digits than to let a win get away from you when you thought you had. And that sometimes is harder to deal with. And then Allen slams it in. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Harkless dishes to Monroe. And he converts the layup. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Roten the pass to Allen. He kicks to Laverne. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Pass to Persingas from past the arc, and that one's good. Persingas has got himself on the board with three there. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. Carter Williams kicks to Parker. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. 
And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Show nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending. Here's Monroe following the basket by Freak. That's no good, and now he's missed two and made two. Anthony kicks to Allen. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And that's now six points for Freak. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside Earl. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Monroe dishes to Middleton. Off target from outside. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. Now here's Allen. He picked up 15 points in the last one against New Orleans. And was a force on the defensive side as well. Four steals over the course of that game. And here is Carter Williams following Tony Roten's three. Screened by Monroe. Looking to end the run, Carter Williams with the bucket. Carter Williams has got his first bucket of the night. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen. They've wasted no time settling into their Makes offense. Sense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Parker. He's coming off a 22-point game against Phoenix. And that one's good. The soft finger roll is just one of the many finishing moves he has in his bag of shot making. Roten kicks to Allen. Here's Porzingis. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. It's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. The Knicks leading by nine. Roten kicks to Allen. Over to the left wing. Persingas passes to Laverne. Some nice passing by New York here. Just four to shoot. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Fast break. Here we go. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. For the Knicks, Lopez comes in for Laverne. And it's Austin Rivers in for Tony Rote. John Henson's checked in for Milwaukee. Marcus Smart comes in for Chris Middleton. Now here's Rivers. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Carter Williams with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. Nobody near Parker. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Playing too much on the perimeter. Let's look to dump the ball inside. knows how to orchestrate from the wing. The top passing small forwards in the NBA during the past 10 games. Freak number one. Well, you, you hear the term forward thrown around about some players, maybe a little too loosely. But when it comes to him, I, I truly believe it applies. Absolutely. I mean, they want him touching the ball every time down, making sure the offense flows through him. He's going to make decisions that are good for his team out there, and those assist numbers prove that. Now here's Allen. He's got six. Lopez outside. Pass to Persingas. Parker with the steal. 
Now here's Harkless. He's guarded by Rivers. And play stops as it looks like they call him over the back here. Yeah, not afraid of the physical play, but he still needs to stay under control. Yeah, he obviously was not under control right there. Not much doubt he was going to get whistled for the over-the-back call. Catching up on the changes for New York. Williams, he's checked in for Pazingas. And it's a follow in for Anthony. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Lumley's checked in. Six to shoot. Rivers. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. And look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for New York. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. Now here's Harkless. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. They double him with Rivers for the three. And Harkless with the basket on the assist from Carter Williams. Harkless has got his first three points of the game. The Knicks leading by four. Rivers off a pick from Allen. Rivers kicks to Allen. Inside. Stolen by Ensign. Now the Bucks moving it up. Harkless with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. To the wing on the left. Smart, wide open. He fires. That three off the mark. Kicks it to Allen. Feeds it to Rivers. Now Allen. Six points for him. Over in the corner, Williams. A follow. That's good. And here is Carter Williams. He had a 12-point outing, and he also was a table setter. In that game, Kevin, just an amazing job with his passing. Just a joy to watch that. The Knicks leading by six. It's Allen on the win. And he jams it with authority. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And, guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. Now here's Rivers. His last outing, he had eight points. And they call an illegal screen here. Oh, an illegal screen there. One of the toughest calls for an official to make. And it is one of the toughest calls, but most of the time they do a good job with it. And you have to appreciate how officials get that one right more times than not. Milwaukee making a switch here. Smith has checked in. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there. Never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Chris Middleton's checked in for Marcus Smart. The Knicks leading by six. Allen outside. One forty-one left here in the first quarter. Ooh, 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 a forceful finish from the big fella. Well, with a player for that size, you'd think he'd make the highlight reel more often. Yeah, you know, he just appears to lack an edge at times in his game. I mean, he can be too passive and reluctant on the court. Here's Carter Williams following the score by New York. The shot by Middleton, wide open. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. Middleton's got his first two points. Lopez, a screen on Carter Williams. Allen with it, guarded now by Harkins. They get the rebound. Lopez dishes to Rivers. Sinks the triple. Rivers has got five now. Already, they piled up eight second chance points. Beasting on those backboards. I love that physicality. Stolen by Rivers. And now here's Rivers, the fast break opportunity. And the lead now, double digits on that bucket. 
and it's an 11 point Knicks lead. You couldn't have dreamed of a much better start here than they've had today. I think the offensive game plan they came in with was right on point. It's worked perfectly, and the lead they already have is proof in the pudding. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. The kick out to Williams. Rivers passes to Allen. On the wing, Williams. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And those put-back baskets contributing to their lead, Greg. Carter Williams kicks to Middleton. Fades. He knocks wow. it down right at the buzzer! That's a shot he'll never forget oh. as dramatic as they come oh. he's got a special knack for the big moments the bigger the moment the better he is He'll do it and let's take a moment there a little bit from josh smith about his development throughout his nba career kind of hear that growth in his voice Lopez, he's checked in for Laverne. Allen comes in for Perzingis, and it's a follow in for Gerald Green. And then for Milwaukee, Plumley, he's checked in for Monroe. Harkless comes in for Josh Smith, and it's Carter Williams in for Chris Middleton. Allen, he's in at three. Anthony out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's a follow, and it's Roten in at the one spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. And a chance here to see where the Bucks currently sit. We need to calm down. We're taking second, too many shots early point. in the clock. Third and rebound. And movement. they're in the top ten in the fewest turnovers per game. It's and they really cool. do emphasize taking Slow care of the ball. Inside. And, and their gift the for offensive rebounding definitely evident in all those second chance points. The two go hand in hand. Make no mistake, if you don't box out, you're going to pay. Got a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Pelicans did some really solid work on the floor. He finished with 15 points, and did he ever have active hands on defense? Stealing, blocks, both were a part of his game that night. A performance like this is what we've come to expect during this great run of his. Will we get another one tonight, guys? Thank you, Doris. He was the player they uh, leaned on that night. He didn't disappoint him. Not at all. Came through in a big... Oh, oh wow. Oh, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at either end steals fast break buckets, and the other team scrambling to find its game great point i mean that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc and boy are they taking advantage parker sets the screen for carter williams shot clock at six here's smart misses the three it's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board very steady with their work on the interior really a well-rounded effort overall and the pass to rivers lets it go from deep the shot no good so milwaukee will take it the other way this their first look at this year's new york squad the game is the first of a three game season series for these clubs both looking to take round one and greg the first time you face a team in the season that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage demonstrate you're better and that could make it easier down the road a fly low dishes to allen off target with the open look bucks trail by 15 Carter Williams with it. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. It's Allen with the drive. The feed to Rivers. Back to Allen. To the right side. And the Knicks miss again. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had earlier. Carter Williams, the pass to Plumley. 
Plumley with the screen. Tries to snap the cold streak. A second chance effort. Cannot hit. And New York the other way now. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. They just looked stable pretty much from the get-go, guys. I mean, sometimes you'll see some inconsistencies come up in a road game that you don't see at home, but not the case in that one. Tremendous balance on display, Greg. I mean, when you look at who was carrying the scoring load, making assists, playing unselfishly, I mean, they had it all working, and that led to the nice road win. In a big game for Al. He has 12 points. And he's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch Ooh, of turnovers. Too easy. And, and it too also easy. tells you just how high his basketball IQ is. I mean, seeing plays develop before anyone else does on the court. Williams, he's checked in for New York. And Parker gets it to go. The assist from Carter Williams. And that's 12 points for Parker. Well, they're not shooting as many from outside here in the second quarter. They were shooting well early on. I, I like their spacing. I think they should get back to that. Allen kicks to Williams. Tries again. And, uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, they wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. The team's better. New York shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case, Greg. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Harkless with the bucket. What a smart pass by Carter Williams right there. Rivers dishes to Allen. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. 16. 43. And the foul called on Freak. That's his third foul of the game. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. There's 39 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Carter Williams, the pass to Plumley. Makes a big high bounce and goes in. Chris pass into the paint. The Knicks leading by 15. It's Allen on the wing. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. You, you know, that's hard to explain that play. I mean, I, I guess he thought he had more room than he did. Milwaukee's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Now here's Smart. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Dishes it to Carter Williams. One second left, and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. The Bucks shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the strike. 